Hi, I'm Caleb with Almond Landscape. In this video, we're gonna show you how to build this simple but attractive kids play pit. Here we are on a project. We're making. Britt, what are we gonna call this thing? Like a kid's play pit. Backyard construction. Well, there you go. So we are building a a gravel dig pit here for Zeke because he's crazy and wants uh. to do nothing but dig all the time. And it's right in eye shot of the kitchen and other parts of the house. We're in a bunch and uh, be a place for the kids, uh, especially Zeke here, to go dig and do whatever. We're gonna dig out, kind of building it like we would a water feature. We're gonna cut cut this piece out. Cut this out. Unfortunately, we got machinery to do it. This is something you could do with a shovel and a wheelbarrow if you had to. Uh, we're going to dig this out. We're going to flatten out that bottom, get a piece of uh, geotextile fabric or weed block fabric, whatever you want to call it, big section of it, and set that in there. We're set some boulders in there all around it, really neat. And we're going to fill it full of about 12 inches of, um, you making a trebuchet there, Ziggy? And, uh, and fill it full of a really fine gravel or sand or mulch, anything you wanted to. And uh, Zeke will have something to constantly dig in and uh, and do that. We're going to surround this area with uh, river rock. So even if that little gravel gets in there, it's not getting in like our mulch bed area in theory. We also have a two-year-old that's going to be getting this stuff probably everywhere. So right now it's a uh, neat concept. One of the things also we're going to do is so we're going to have this big pit area here. We plan on getting a couple big step stones through here, big, sl big slab steppers. Uh, or not slab steps, but steppers through here. So you always got to work with the the trap, the flow of traffic, um, and people are going to shortcut through this area anyways out to the, the section of the yard. So uh, it's going to be a really cool little area, but really easy to do. You do it, like I said, yourself with a shovel and a four-year-old, and you're good to go. All right, there you go. It's videoing now. So just make sure it's always on the screen. Go ahead, Zeke. Dump it. All right. Shake it out. Let me come back to All right. Bring it back. We use some paint here. To we use some paint here to help illustrate what we're doing. So these round circles are representing our rocks and then the actual area we're in is gonna be the infilled like sand or area or whatever. Getting a little small, so we're gonna extend it out through here. We're gonna continue this nice bed line out the edge and just out to the edge of that column right there. These are gonna be two big step stones, again, to uh, promote egress and ingress and or to facilitate that really is the bigger thing. Um, cause people are going to walk through here no matter what, anyhow. So we might as well work with it. So, uh, we're going to get this thing dug out, square out the sides and get some geofabric. Going to be really cool. Now the boss is here to help. So it's, it's real now. We've got our hole dug out here. So that's taking shape more. So geofabric next, weed barrier fabric, whatever you want to call it. Line it with rocks after that. And then backfill with, uh, whatever type of sand or material you want to do. That's cool. Don't underestimate how much material actually comes out of there. We have a place to put it on our property. Just make sure you're accounting. And a cool thing might be to make is just take this, do a cut and fill, right? So cut this out and flop all that sand up here or all that material up here on this side and then make a little slide or just a little play mound, something cool. Now we have our woven, or I'm sorry, this is a non-woven geotextile fabric, or they call it poly spun, I believe. Um, we're gonna do out a good portion of this area here because we're gonna put rock mulch in here to keep kids from kicking mulch into this area, or river rock, whatever you wanna call it. And then this part is normal, uh, normal mulch. We don't put this kind of stuff under normal mulch. Uh, we've got a mulching video on that, check that out. Uh, whatever, we'll explain that later. But uh so this is the layout here we got it cut in this is pretty similar to how you build a, a, a properly built uh water feature here so here we go here we have 
our whole thing lined with rocks. We got a nice little stepper into it. You see how the size shrinks once you get these large rocks in there. So make sure you, if you do the large rock thing, whatever you do, just um, now we're gonna get, uh, you know, you can use sand, mulch, it doesn't matter. We've got this number eight stone, just something we got left over from a job. So it's just going in there. I've actually got a number nine stone I'd rather see in there. So uh, we're gonna put part of that in there and then get the rest of our number nines, which are really fine stones. So. Here we've got our nines. We're scooping our nines into it right now. Nine is a type of uh, nine limestone that is. Uh, fairly clean, a few rains on it, really clean the dust off of it and stuff, but this will be good for the kids to push around. It compacts a little bit, but it's still really malleable for the kids to uh, you know, kind of do around as they want. So we'll get this fabric trimmed up and all that, but uh, here's the fun stuff. Let me see, Zeke, let's see you scoop. It looks like a mess currently. It's day or evening number two here of working on it. We've got um, our pond rock lined in there on a cool little piece of, I don't even know what it is, driftwood style thing. Looks like a monocle maybe for the kids to play with. Anyhow, I uh, got our number nine grit in here. We had to cut one thing too with these things. You need to cover them up to keep the neighborhood cats out of them maybe. But we're just surrounding this area with uh, this river rock, what they call oversized gravel. And you can see the geo fabrics laid over the side there. We're gonna cut that right at the edge. A piece of metal edging or something would be good. We'll do that at some point. Separate the grass from the rock. Uh, but that we'll have this cleaned up here probably tomorrow at this point and, and I'll have a nice little play area. But Zeke played in this thing all day as did uh, Addison and Levi, so fun little area. Obviously we have the advantage of, a mechanical advantage if you will, this thing to place material uh, more easily, but uh, this is doable with a wheelbarrow. We have our we're just, it's been just lovingly named the pit, but we have it complete here. We got our river rock around, did a little bit of a wash down on it. Um, this stuff comes pretty dirty. You can actually see how much dirtier it is out here. It didn't get washed down, but uh, we need some steel edging or aluminum edging or something more defined along there because that grass will try to migrate in, the rocks try to migrate out a little more. So we need a little more of a defined edge there, but homeowner projects, we don't even, we don't do as good a job for ourselves as we do our clients. So. Uh, but again, it's all set up, kind of a neat looking uh, area here. But it's complete and it looks nice and the kids have been playing in it like crazy. And there'll be migration of stone, um, you know, whatever. Now you could use like a number nine pea gravel that would match this river rock. They call it oversized gravel as well. Uh, but this whole project, again, entirely possible with wheelbarrows or if you've got it, mechanical means, which is way better. A little bit of yard damage out here, we'll reseed that. but. We're happy with this little space. Pretty cool little area. Right off the porch so mom and dad can watch them right through the kitchen. And uh, fun little area.